Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is your boy, the Crypto Siege, with another day in the life, in the crazy life. That is the digital asset space. What's going on, guys? Good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Interesting times. Interesting, interesting times for sure. Holy cow, did I just... Well, I'm going to have to share this with you guys because this is unbelievable. All right, guys, so listen, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in zero to 10 minutes. Let's do this. India's Supreme Court strikes down curbs on cryptocurrency trade. Wow. They've been overthrown. They've been overthrown. India's Supreme Court struck down a central bank directive that effectively outlawed virtual currencies in Asia's third largest economy. A three-judge bench headed by Justice uh, Rohington F. Uh, Nyerman agreed with petitions by cryptocurrency exchanges, startups, and industry bodies that had challenged the Reserve Bank of India's April 2018 decision to ban, to, to ban banks from offering any services to support digital currencies. The ruling is a boost for virtual currency investors and businesses in India where a skeptical federal government is mulling stringent regulations. The Supreme Court is separately hearing another case in which it will decide on regulations for digital currency, and Wednesday's judgment weakens the case for strict norms. So in other words, there was the Reserve Bank of India that put, kind of put the ban on there. Now, the, the Supreme Court, in the Supreme Court, overruled them. So meanwhile, the Indian Central Bank is exploring the creation of a sovereign back digital currency. How about that? Kind of the same lines as that the Marshall Islands did, right? Just recently it did. Um, uh, meanwhile, the Indian Central Bank has been exploring the creation of a sovereign back digital currency, even as it escalated its crackdown on private instruments like Bitcoin, citing the potential for money laundering and other illegal activities. The RBI, Reserve Bank of India's immediate response to requests for comment Opponents of, opponents of the curbs argue that the central bank wasn't empowered to issue the ban and its directive hadn't adequately studied the matter. Uh, Kanal uh, Butchar, co-founder of CoinRecoil.com, said, this cryptocurrency exchange will now approach a couple of potential investors who had initially been lined up for funding but backed off after the RBI's ban. Now crypto traders, investors, miners can proudly speak up about what they do for a living. Amen. Now they won't be judged as criminals, he said. How about that? Very, very interesting article from India. And here's another one as well. Um, India, Indian crypto exchange adds banks transfer after RBA ban left. It was literally hours after. Right. So an Indian crypto exchange has added support for bank account transfers hours after the Reserve Bank of India was forced to list it, to lift its cryptocurrency ban. I love it. Mumbai-based coin DCX announced Wednesday that users can now purchase digital assets, cryptocurrencies with the Indian rupee as the exchange became the first platform in India to fully integrate bank account transfer. The integration came less than six hours after the Supreme Court of India ruled against a 2018 ban posed by the RBI, Reserve Bank of India, which banned domestic financial institutions from providing banking services to cryptocurrency companies. Progress, mass adoption, guys. Can you say mass adoption? I'm going to show you another article as well. It's the, it's the dominoes are falling because they know that 2020 is the year of the digital asset. And I'm going to show you something about what RIP is doing as well. So, uh, gosh, I cannot pronounce that name. I knew Rude, Rude, Annie Rude, Rastagi, the founder and managing, managing partner of uh, Igagi Law, Igashi Law, uh, the law firm that filed the original petition, uh, petition on behalf of CoinDX and other exchanges, commented that the judge's decision was made on the grounds there was little evidence to support cryptocurrency pose a threat to the banking system. Yes. The RBI ban was deemed not to be proportionate to the risks sought to be addressed by such a man, says Rasagi said. In a statement, Coin DCX co-founder and chief executive summit Gupta said the court verdict would likely be the catalyst for a transformation in the Indian cryptocurrency industry. A banking integration with the exchange's first priority now that Indian, Indian citizens could once again invest in digital assets, Gupta said. Are you kidding me? Wow. 
with renewed accessibility and convenience in purchasing cryptocurrencies. We believe we're talking, you know, we, you know, India it's, it's a few people over there. Few people reside over there in India. We believe that this change will have a dramatic effect in accelerating crypto adoption in India, Gupta said. It's unclear whether the banking integration means coin DCX are structuring a partnership with Indian Financial Exchange. Indian Financial Exchange does not matter. The exchange did not immediately upon our return request for comment. Doesn't matter. They have the right. They have they're able to do it now. Things are amping up. This is we're talking mass adoption. And let us not forget Ripple and in India. India's federal banking launching Ripple's cross-border payments technology this year. The use of crypto asset XRP is unclear as of yet, but we all know. We all know. That was in October of 2019. We all know. What's the cheapest? We all know. What's the fastest? We all know. What's the most transparent? We all know. They're not going to just continue just rely on messaging. They will move to the next phase. More major Indian, uh, major private Indian bank partners with Ripple for cross-border payments. Major private bank, federal bank, has partnered with Ripple for its cross-border remittance network. That was December of 19. The first one I read was in October of 2019, right? So this is massive. This ban is done and over. Businesses and exchanges can move forward. The people of India can move forward with the, in, within the digital asset space. Absolutely ginormous massive news absolutely ginormous massive news and then let's not forget this just happened crypto is now fully legal in south korea the parliament passes a landmark cryptocurrency bill how about that how about that what do you think about the time of that i mean literally within a day after india it lifted the ban. Here comes South Korea, fully in the game now. So South Korea is following in the footsteps of India, there you go, in terms of legalizing cryptocurrency trading and holding after passing a new amendment a few hours ago. Wow, so this is, okay, cool. From now on, digital assets are entirely legal in the East Asian nation. Guys, you and I, we're playing a game that the masses don't even know is being played. We are early adopters in this new asset class that is the digital asset space, guys. Hope you guys get it, right? So cryptocurrencies now legal in South Korea. Cryptocurrency trading is now entirely into the legal system for the South Korean government. Wow, according to a local report. To receive this outcome, the National Assembly amended the act on reporting and use of specific financial information. After President Jay in moon signs the amendment passed in the country's parliament, the enactment process will begin. It will take one year from the date of signing, followed by a six-month grace period. Once the required, uh, re uh, required time passes, cryptocurrency-related businesses such as exchange trusts Exchanges, trust, wallet companies, and token sales will need to comply with new rules. Those include having a real name verification partnership with an approved local bank. Thus, when a verified individual is assigned to a single bank account, it helps prevent money laundering when they deposit or withdraw fiat currencies. Cryptocurrency-related businesses will also need to obtain an information security management system certification, ISMS. The Korea Internet Security Agency <laughs> provides the certification when they examine each company to ensure that it can protect the vital information assets for itself and all users. This is exciting stuff, guys. They're moving forward. Korea, and we all know what happens with Korea markets. All exchanges must comply within six months of the enactment. Otherwise, they risk being shut down. So there you go. They're moving forward in a big way. The Korean bill is coming just one day following India's Supreme Court lifting uh, the crypto ban by RBI from 2018. Right? Love it. it. Says mixed feelings. The new bill had carried different viewpoints between crypto investors in the in the country. Some indicated that the introduction of the new amendment is a positive sign, since security will increase following new measures and it and they may they may uh what i mean they're going to start high have a really 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 heavy hammer 
right, in the beginning in terms of security. And, and, and as they learn more and more about the space and the technology, they'll, they'll, le they'll lessen the load, I believe. So, uh, so the new amendment is a positive sign that security will increase following the new measures. They even refer to it as a new coin age. However, not everyone is as optimistic. Other, other, others believe that the added security measures might push most cryptocurrency exchanges in the country to migrate outside or close. Moreover, as only a few will remain, it would open the door for them to charge higher trading fees. Yeah. Leading Korean exchange uh, Hanbiko CEO Sunga Kim noted that the new measures would ultimately benefit the cryptocurrency spaces. Most fraudulent companies will be eliminated. I like it. A foundation has been created to wash away the stigma of cryptocurrency exchanges, fraud, and debauchery, and established itself as a transparent, is that debauchery, uh, as a transparent and reliable industry. It will lead to the development of the industry with the inflow of new capital. That is exactly right, guys. That is exactly right. So, exciting times without question exciting times and this and the indian news is massive for ripple i mean i mean i believe it's a hundred percent of the banks it's the reserve federal reserve bank of india it's the big major private bank here i mean it's all of it and ripple is all over that and so they'll all be on ripple net in india so you know i'm talking about some volume moving it's going to be absolutely outstanding absolutely outstanding guys all right guys listen i'm going to wrap up this video like I do all of my videos, I remind you of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual will of trading our time for dollar. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space, it's our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. That the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya.